Sand Super Seats by Kia Brown and read to you today by Gammy. Hi, my name is Sand and I love to make people laugh. I love myself and I love to learn. Today I'm going to my favorite place for back to school shopping with my best friends, Sydney and Sarah. Daddy helps me get ready so mommy can sleep in before he heads to work. We brush our teeth, sing songs into our hairbrushes, and after Daddy combs my hair, we do something super fun. Every morning, we say four things we like about me into the mirror. Today, I like my dance skills, my eyes, and my fingers too. And today, your smile is my favorite thing about you, Daddy says. He's right, it is pretty great. Mommy is up now, getting dressed. I can hear her singing. What does a ghost say when he is upset? I ask as Daddy gives me a piggyback ride down the stairs to the living room. I don't know what. This is unbelievable. Daddy laughs and says goodbye with a forehead kiss. Before Mommy and I leave, I'm busy resting with my favorite super seat, Misty. I have cerebral palsy, so I know when my legs get tired, I have to stop and sit. Yesterday at the park, I overdid it on the swings, and my right leg still hurts a little. Ready to go? Mommy asks. Missy wishes me well with a wink and a smile, and I promise her a rematch with a wave and a smile of my own. My second favorite super seat is in the back of Mommy's car. Whenever we go anywhere, I get to hang out with Lainey. We share secrets, and she always has a joke ready to make me laugh. Lainey makes me feel important and safe. She is funny, cool, and kind. That's why she is a super seat of mine. Lainey cracks another joke when Sarah and Sydney crawl into the car. We laugh and laugh, and Mommy asks us, oh, what's so funny? Nothing we say before laughing again. At the mall, we see cute shirts, cute pants and skirts, and cute shoes. My favorite colors are pink and blue. Sydney's are green and purple, and Sarah really likes orange and brown. We're going to look so cute when we go back to school because we've got brains and beauty. Cuteness isn't just about clothes. It's about feeling good on the inside and outside, feeling strong and feeling ready to learn. Sarah, Sydney, and I walk around the mall with Mommy, and she helps us put together two outfits each. Sarah poses in front of the mirror, her orange shirt and sunflower-covered overall shining under the light, like the models and magazines that she wants to be. She is quiet but confident and loves clothes as much as me. I feel strong, she says. You look strong, I reply. I feel good, Sydney says. You look so cute, I reply. I walk the runway, limping with pride with my left hand on my hip. I love the way I feel, like I could fly. I show off my jean skirt with pink hearts by the pockets and matching pink jacket while Sydney stands next to Mommy, pretending to take pictures with her hands. Her blue jeans and green sweater with stars on the sleeves remind me of all the stylish photographers that she looks up to. Sarah, Sydney, Mommy, and me pose and play pretend before we are all in a pile on the floor giggling. We buy friendship bracelets and Sydney helps me tie mine around my wrist. Thank you, I say, before we group hug. Let's wear these on the first day back to school, Sarah says. And then we all high five. I love my friends. They help me when it's hard to do things and they cheer me up with hugs when I'm sad about it being hard. When they're sad, I like to make them laugh. Going back to school is going to be so much fun. After walking so much, my legs start to ache and tingle like they fell asleep. That's how I know I'm tired. I want to walk and run and play all day, but sometimes a little rest goes a long way. I am tired. I need to stop, I say. Mommy smiles and says, me too. It's been a long day. We stand still, holding hands while we look for a place to sit. Mommy spots a place for us to rest. Girls, let's go sit on that bench over there, she says. And so we do. We sit down and take some pictures with silly faces and some with big smiles. The bench is not a super seat yet because we are still strangers and this hard wood pokes my legs. Hi, I'm Maya, the bench says. I know I'm not that comfy, but I can help you rest when you're tired. Thank you, I tell Maya. But maybe next time 
You could ask to get pillows. I am still tired, but I won't be forever. I will only be a few more minutes, I say. Take your time. People watching is fun, Sydney says. Mommy squeezes my hand like she does when she wants me to remember that she loves me. I remember, and I love her too. We watch lots of people, and we see other kids with their families back to school shopping like us. I can't wait to sit at a new desk and rest while we learn about places, people, and things. I can't wait to meet a new super seat. To keep shopping, I'll need to rest here for a while with my friends, mommy, new clothes, and a super seat in training. But then I have one of the best ideas I've had all day. When we get home, we sit on Misty while mommy grabs jewelry for us to try on from her room. She comes back with rings, necklaces, and barrettes for our hair. My space buns are perfect, so I grab a ring. Sarah and Sydney take some time to decide. I look at myself with a mirror mommy brought downstairs. When I'm done, I see Sarah with two necklaces and Sydney with barrettes on each side of her curly brown hair. We all take turns looking in the mirror again. Today, I like my dance skills, my eyes, and my fingers too. What I like most about myself every day though, is that I'm me. It isn't easy, but being me is the best. And sometimes, I need a little rest. The end. We have so much more to learn. Be blessed.